In this video, I'll give you an overview of our updated word search tool. To get to the tool, you can either click on Word Search Puzzle Tool under the Activity Books menu, or you can click on the Word Search icon. To get started, you want to select your trim size. I'm going to go with 8.5 by 11. You can now also select a custom size if you want by clicking on the Use Custom Trim Size and setting the width and length that you want to use. But I'm going to stick with the 8.5 by 11 standard size. Then you set your puzzle settings. Number of puzzles, I'm just going to use four for this first example. Words per puzzle, I'm going to use 12. I'm going to have 15 letters across and 20 letters down for my puzzle. I can allow or disallow all of these different directions. I'm going to go ahead and have a box around the puzzle, so I'm not going to click here. I'm not going to allow numbers right now, and I'm not going to add any additional letters or remove any letters. I'll show you that in the next, next example. And I'm going to want uppercase for my puzzles. I'm going to stick with Roboto font and a font size of 16 for the puzzle. I'm going to go over to title and words. I'm going to stick with title number, but you can also have no title or different titles. If you have different titles, you can have a separate title for every single puzzle that you have in your book. And you can also set the font size, the font for your title and for your word list that's below your puzzle. You can select to use AI or enter words. I'm going to enter words. You can select to not alphabetize your list, in which case it will list the words in the same order that you put them in the input box. And you can decide whether you want your word list to go to vertical or horizontal, and then you can put in your words. I have a bunch of spreadsheets, so I'm just going to cut and paste them. You can set the number of columns you want to do, and then you can move your word list over if you don't like where it's at, and you can set the space between the puzzle and the words. You can also set the space between the title and the puzzle and where to start the title at. So you can have complete control over how your pages look. So now that we have all of our words, I'm going to not do anything with the color settings. I'm going to leave it black and white, but if you wanted to create printables with colors, you could do that and you can set each of the colors independently for your puzzle and your answer pages. So let's do a refresh and see what we got. That's so what it looks like right now, and I want this to get moved over. So I'm gonna go over move word list to the right and up that a little bit and do another refresh. All right, now, if you want, you can have a title above your word list. And that you get that by clicking on include title above word list. And you can again set your font and your font size and the space you want between the puzzle and the title as well as the title and your word list. So let's add a little more space between our title and our words. And we can also add more space between our puzzle and our word list. You can also view your answer pages. So right now I'm just doing one answer per page, but you can go under book settings and set that to two or four. And once you have it the way you want it, you click on the download PDF button and get your PDF. And here is what my PDF looks like. Let's show you some of the other things you can do with this tool. Let's give you an example of having different titles. You can click on different titles, and I'm going to cut and paste them right here, and then do a refresh. And now you see each puzzle has a different title describing the puzzle. You can also have no title, or you can ch even change it from word search. So maybe you have a summer themes, so you can say summer word search. And then each puzzle will just be sequentially numbered with your 
with what you put into this box. So I'm going to word search one, two, three, four. You could also change the name of your word list. You could say, find these words, for example. And then every single one of your puzzles will now say, find these words instead of word list. So you can see you can have, it's highly customizable. You can make your books look any way you want it with this tool. And it also can create books in different languages. Let me show you how to do that. Go under puzzle settings and you can include additional letters and you can exclude letters too. So for example, let's say I wanted to create a puzzle in the Greek language. So I can copy the Greek letters and put them in this block. So it's telling you to add all of the Greek letters. And then I'm going to put all of the English letters over here to tell it we don't want any of those letters. That way the puzzle will be entirely in Greek. And let's go get some Greek words. And I'm just going to do one puzzle for this example. Then you hit refresh. Now, of course, if you're trying to create this puzzle in Greek, you're not going to want to have English up here or down here. So you can go and change those, those words as well. I'm going to change the title. And I'm going to change the word list. So now it's in Greek. You can also now use this tool to create number searches. So let me show you how to do that. I'm gonna go under number settings. And again, I'm gonna remove all the letters A to Z. I'm gonna click on allow numbers in search grid. And then instead of the Greek numbers, I'm just gonna put the digits one to zero. Then I'm going to go and word search, uh, we're going to say number search. And under here, we're going to say number list. To get these numbers, I use ChatGPT and I'll put the prompt I was using into the comments below so you will know how to get these numbers. And I'm going to use 40 words per puzzle instead of one. And now I'm going to hit refresh. Now when this happens, it, me it means that your font is too big or you didn't have enough columns. So if you see that happen, just go over to title, word listings, and change your columns or change the font size. So now my number list is over way farther than I want it. So we'll just make this a little bit smaller and reduce the space there and if you want to you can change your grid size let's show you what it looks like with a 20 by 20 for the number ones i kind of like the 20 by 20 size and that's what that looks like and if you go look at the answers this is what the answer page looks like you know if you forget to check allow numbers in search grid it's going to come back and say click allow numbers. So if you get that message, it means you need to make sure to allow numbers in your search grids. And now if you really want to get crazy, you can even do symbol searches. And you need to go find a font that has dingbats that you want to use or symbols. All right, so for the symbol search, you're going to copy the symbols that are not in the ones that you want people to search for and put that in here. Then go over to your title and words and put the symbol that you want them to be searching for in here. And if you don't have the right font, this is what it's going to look like. So you have to make sure you're using a font that can display these particular symbols. So in this case, the font that I'm going to use is Noto Sans Symbols. 
And I need to change it in the word list. And I need to change it over here for the puzzle font. And now it actually displays those. And then you're going to want to change that from number to maybe symbol instead of number list, symbol list. And there you have it. A whole bunch of different things that you can do with our word search tool. If you have any comments, please leave them below. And if you have any suggestions for making this or any of our other tools better, leave that below as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.